Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to learn bare areas of liver. Okay, I'm Dr. Vaishali Bharambe. I've been teaching anatomy for last 25 years and I love it. Bare areas of liver. Let's start. So what is bare area? All those areas in the liver which are not covered by peritoneum are referred to as bare areas of liver. That means area not covered by peritoneum is bare. Non-peritoneal areas of liver. Clear? Okay. So first let me enumerate them because you are asked to enumerate in exams. So first is the bare area. Meaning what? That area which is the biggest bare area of liver is called the bare area of liver. There are others which are bare but are very brief and therefore they are not, they are just referred to as bare areas. Which are these? Line of attachment of falciform ligament, fissure for ligamentum venosum, fissure for ligamentum teres, fossa for gallbladder, porta hepatis, groove for inferior vena cava. Just learn this up. But you will be asked to discuss in the form of a short note the bare areas of liver. So let's dive into that. Here is a bar part of the falciform ligament, the layer that went on the right side, went on to form superior layer of coronary ligament. So the upper border of the bare area of liver is formed by superior layer of coronary ligament. Inferior border is formed by inferior layer of coronary ligament. Two of them unite to form the right triangular ligament. Please note that a ligament that goes from the liver to the diaphragm. And here you can see that it is related to the inferior vena cava. This triangular area that is formed is called as the bare area of liver. Please say it once, the bare area of liver. So let's give, let's define its borders, boundaries. Apex formed by right triangular ligament. Base formed by groove for inferior vena cava. Upper and lower borders formed by Superior layer of coronary ligament, inferior layer of coronary ligament. Very easy, right? And this area of the liver is related to a lot of structures. It's bare, it has no peritoneum. So it's directly related to your diaphragm, directly related to the right suprarenal gland, may be related to the right kidney and is definitely a site of portocaval anastomosis. Branches of portal vein anastomosing with veins that are draining into the inferior vena cava or the systemic circulation. Remember a separate lecture on portocaval anastomosis has been made and uploaded. In case you want to know more about portocaval anastomosis, you can access it there. So we've done the bare area. Let's go to other bare areas. One, this is the falciform ligament. You can see how as the two layers diverge, a small bit of liver tissue remains bare. This is bare area. Other bare areas include fissure for ligamentum venosum. Can you see a small gap between the two layers? Fissure for ligamentum teres. Pick up the gallbladder. So the area below it is again bare. Porta hepatis is obviously not covered by peritoneum but surrounded by the free margin of lesser omentum. And were you to lift up the inferior vena cava, you would again find the bare area. So these are all the bare areas of liver. MCQs and notes on all my lectures are now available on my website vbanatomy.com. You can access it there in case you need to see the written word to study. You can of course watch my videos again, I will be more than happy. But even the notes are now available in the form of handouts. Okay. So... For the rest of the anatomy of liver, you can see the anatomy, the lecture titled as anatomy of liver. It gives you a detailed understanding of anatomy of liver. I hope you liked this lecture. In case you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Share a video with a friend. This was a very brief video on bare areas of liver. Thank you. I'll see you across the screen in my next video. Bye.